I am Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. This is problem number four um, in the uh, uh, chapter of complex numbers. We will talk right now about solving uh, a general uh, quadratic equation in complex numbers. And um, the problem is that we have to prove that uh, we have two roots for this particular equation and uh, these two roots are either both real numbers or complex with opposite sign um, in the imaginary path. So if you have x1 and x2 as two roots of this general equation, then either both real or x1 and 2 is equal to something like a plus minus b pi, where a and b are real numbers, so both roots have the same real part, and the imaginary part is uh, of opposite sign. So that's what we have to prove actually here. And the way how we do it, we will just try to solve the general equation and derive with the formula. In this case, we will derive the full formula for this type of equation and see what happens. Um, Let's assume that all our coefficients, a, b, and c, are real numbers. a is not equal to 0. So um, the roots of this equation are exactly the same as if I will divide it by a, I will have something like x squared plus px plus q equal to 0. Um, this is actually easier. The roots are exactly the same. I just divided by a all components of this. So a is not equal to 0 because it's a quadratic equation. So instead of solving this, I will solve this, where p is equal to b over a and q is equal to c over a. All right. So we will solve this equation. And how do we do it? I really do not remember the formula. So how can I solve a quadratic equation? Well, most likely, I will just try to solve something simple. For instance, if I have an equation of x squared equals to whatever, uh, m, for instance, I know that the solutions are x equals plus or minus the square root of m, right? Um, a little more complicated case of this um, uh, Type. Just you see this px, it's kind of uh, uh, makes the whole thing a little bit more complex. But I will try to reduce it to this type of equation, of equation of type y squared plus something like g equals to zero. So I will try to reduce this one to this one, and this I know how to solve. Now, how can I do it? Well, obviously, I need something for y to combine these two together, and that will be just one variable rather than um, kind of a polynomial expression. How can I do it? Very simply, um, you understand that if I will do x plus, um, let's say, which letter should I choose? Uh, let's say k, for instance, squared. What is this? This is x squared plus 2k x plus k squared, right? So I would like this to be this, and I would like this to be this. So what is my k? k is obviously um, p divided by 2. So what I will do is the following. I will use this to have an x squared plus 2 p over 2 x plus p squared divided by 4. And this will be my y squared. Now, to get back to this equation, so x is the same. p times 2 divided by 2 is the same. And only this member is actually not the same. So to uh, bring it to the following, I have to subtract p squared over 4, and then add q, and that's equal to 0. So this particular equation is exactly the same as this one, but now this represents a full square, which I have just uh, 
symbolically use y square for this type of thing. So in this case, the equation is um, I can use y or I can use x plus um, p divided by 2. So y is, in this case, x plus p divided by 2. And that's why y square will be x square plus 2p divided by 2, x plus p square over 4. So the equation actually becomes y square minus p square over 4 plus q is equal to 0, where, a is, where y is this expression. And obviously, the solution to this is y is equal to plus minus square root of p minus q. From which we actually derive the x. x is equal to minus p over 2. plus minus square root of p square over 4 minus q. So this represents a general solution to our equation. And considering our coefficients are all real, we basically see that um, if p square over 4 minus q is positive, then both roots are real numbers, because the square root is a real number from the positive number. If, however, we have a negative number here, then the square root of this negative number is i with some kind of a real coefficient. For instance, square root of minus 4, for instance, is 2i. Right? So, basically, this represents, in this case, when this is negative, uh, represents an imaginary part. So minus p divided by 2 is a real part. And plus or minus, you will have i with certain number, uh, certain real number as a coefficient. So basically, you can say that this is, uh, uh, this represents two complex numbers with imaginary part uh, opposite side, uh, opposite signs, and that's exactly what this particular uh, problem required. And incidentally, um, what we have actually done, we have derived the formula for this type of equation. Or, if you wish, we can return back to original uh, equation, and instead of p and q, we can use these expressions, which wouldn't really change much. But then it will be expressed in terms of a, b, and c, the same formula, which doesn't really change the fact that either when this is positive, both roots are uh, real numbers, or if uh, under the square root I have a negative number, then I have two complex numbers with imaginary parts having opposite signs, which is exactly what was required. Thank you very much.